Hi and welcome back to the Airgun Evolution channel. Today, I'm gonna be hunting through my Airgun Evolution hole in the wall. You might have seen me bash this hole in with a sledgehammer a few episodes ago. That's some good fun. So my setup is I'm gonna be sitting on five gallon bucket, only this time I have improved it. I put a brick on top of it so I get a little more height. So that's, that's a ma- oh. That might be a major improvement, but probably not. Got a little Allen rest that I'm putting right here in the window, and get that in. Let me show you what I'm gonna be shooting at here. It's really cool, here. So I'm gonna go slow. So I've got my other little camera pointed up here. They're gonna be mostly, you can see all of them right there. And they have a little drinking puddle right there. Let me get the gun set up, we'll take some shots. <laughs> And today I'm going to be using the Hill 8-inch air gun suppressor. Tim Hill loaned this to me to test out, so I'm going to see how it does today. There we go. And yes, for all you wondering, I did get my mask and filters now. When I'm inside, I will be wearing this. If anybody's watching and knows anybody that works at SideShot, tell them that I am in desperate need of some more clamps. I have a one inch scope that I want to get some clamps for. I have a 30, uh, what is it, 34, 35 millimeter that I want to get a clamp for. You, you just can't get them, so please SideShot, if you do watch this, please, I need some more clamps. <laughs> let, let me know how to get them. Shooting regular poly mags today. if I could put one through that guy's head and into that one's chest. There's just so many. I kind of want to take two at once. That's where I'm going for. That was two. That's definitely two. Two headshots. Here's the one. You can see him flopping. Ooh, that's gross. There's one right there. The other one I killed. Right there. And they're coming back in. <laughs> He must have did like 16 back rolls. Ooh, another headshot. And they're coming back in. Because that's what stupid pitchings do. And they're actually flying over my head right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm canting the gun just a bit. Another headshot. If he keeps rolling, he'll roll off the roof. Nope. Come back in, boys. I wonder if I can put one through that guy's head and into that one's chest. There's just so many. I 
kind of want to take two at once. That's where I'm going for. That was two. That's definitely two. Two headshots. Now I was just thinking to myself, shoot, I don't remember if I loaded a pellet. It doesn't matter with this gun because it has an anti-double load mechanism. Someone asked me to show how it worked or explain how it works. I honestly don't know how it works, but it works. See? It's just, it's not loading the second pellet. After I knocked the brick out, I picked all the loose pieces up and threw it outside so it wouldn't be in my way. Thinking back on it, I should have left quite a few pieces over there. The pigeons, they'll fly from where you just saw me shooting them and they'll fly right behind me. I found out if I just pick up a few rocks and throw them over the walls, it spooks the pigeons and they'll fly back there. So this is outside. So they'll go to this structure here and to this structure here. By just throwing a few rocks over there, spooks them off, they fly back to where I'm shooting them. And they love to land on top of the smokestack too, but I haven't gotten that good yet to shoot that far. Yeah, so when they fly on that smokestack, which they love to do come springtime, it's a minimum, I think, 80 yard shot I lazed it and I'm just not that good yet. What I'm taking here are 30 yard shots. So the two you see together are the ones that I did the double headshot on. And this guy right here, he might be a bit graphic to show his head because it's not quite intact. Quick second. But you can see it pop that guy in the head right there. It definitely popped this guy in the head. I mean, there's part of his skull right there. And then this is one that, another headshot, bam. And I know I can't show on YouTube the full image of that bird out there, but let's just say that pellet went in right here, took the entire back of its head off. The top of the skull is still intact. The only thing holding the head on is the front skin here. So that bird is pretty much decapitated. Helps if I load the gun. No, he's the only one. He went down. Spiral down, headshot, sweet. And they're actually landing right over there. But it's such an awkward angle and I'm afraid if I put the gun at that way, I'm gonna scratch it all up on these bricks. Figure this out here. How I can do this without ruining my can my gun. Oh no. in a headshot, but it certainly hit him. He went down, spiraled down, headshot, sweet. And he's lighted, whatever lighting condition it is right now, it's, it's kind of got just a, 
a haze of clouds and, and the sun buried behind it all, but whatever it is, it's like super perfect. I'm actually able to track the pellets by eye through the scope and as they fly to the air, I, it's awesome. I've never really had it this perfect before where I could actually just and see, yeah, oh, head shot, no, chest shot, things like that. And that last one was definitely chest shot. Slid it right past him. Let's go see where I got that one. And this last guy I just clipped him right in the back of the head, but it was still enough impact put them right down. Thank you, Tim Hill. I know that you shipped this to me months and months ago and I said, you know, I, I'd do a review on it and I'm sorry, I'm just getting around to it now, but I appreciate you sending this out to me and so far it's working good. You can get this suppressor by going to hillairgun.com. This is an eight inch long and one and three eighths inch diameter suppressor. This one can go from 177 all the way up to 25 and you can get a 30 cal in this as well. Just wish more pigeons would come in. Well guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Uh -huh.